I'm sure after the terrible events of the last few weeks, you are wondering why I have gathered you here in the dining room of the hotel. The answer is simple. Oh, is, is Monsieur Jenkins? He is not yet stuck in traffic. Okay, well, that, no, that's fine. I will. We will we'll just wait. Wait a moment. Is anyone going anywhere nice for their uh, holidays? Hmm? I bet you will never guess where I'm from. I'll give you a clue. It is not France. I know we have waited a while, but trust me, it is worth it. It is <laughs> quite the story. <laughs> is he st he's still coming? I would have to say, mon amis, this one, one of the top three murders I have uh, investigated. Gun to my head. <laughs> uh, Poirot's a little joke. Well, he's not not the murderer. Let me put it like this. Shall we get some uh, cafe or a syrup? Hmm? Is it too early in the day? It's five o'clock somewhere. If I'm honest, this is um, sort of ruining. I had a big uh, climactic build up, you know, I, my story is there impressive. So the long wait, it does not make Poirot seem good at his job. Start without him? <laughs> no, I, I need everyone involved to be here, okay? Uh, I have to point to them all individually and go, oh, maybe it was you. Mm, and everyone's like, oh, what? No way. And then I'm like, ha, psych. This is why I prefer when the murder is on a train or a boat, you know, people can't get stuck in traffic. And then the waiter, he says, no, I was saying, quel fromage. <laughs> maybe it is lost in translation. Ah, Inspector, uh, Jenkins... He has been taken into custody, okay. Uh, I, I do not know if these local police are really aware of Poirot's need to monologue. No? You know, this reminds me of the time there was a death on the Nile. It was on the Nile. I had just 